A rotating light is located 12 feet from a wall. The light completes one rotation every four seconds. We want to find the rate at which the light projected onto the wall is moving along the wall when the light's angle is 10 degrees from perpendicular to the wall. Let's take a look at our diagram. This would be the light projecting onto the wall here. Notice the distance from the light to the wall is 12 feet here. The light's angle perpendicular to the wall would be this angle here, labeled theta. Let's start to record the given information. We're told the light completes one rotation every four seconds. This tells us the change in theta with respect to time, which means d theta dt is equal to, well one rotation is two pi radians, so d theta dt would be two pi radians per four seconds. We simplify this, two-fourths simplifies to one-half, so we'd have pi over two radians per second. Next, we're trying to find the rate at which the light projected onto the wall is moving along the wall. So if we label the length of this segment here w, we actually want to find dw dt which will be feet per second. We want to find this rate of change when our angle theta is equal to 10 degrees. Now we need an equation that relates theta to the length of this side and the length of this side of the right triangle. And since w is the opposite side of angle theta and 12 feet is the adjacent side, we can use the tangent function to write our equation. Tangent theta must be equal to w divided by 12. And now to find dw dt, we'll differentiate both sides of this equation with respect to t. Notice because we're differentiating with respect to t, not theta or w, we'll have to perform implicit differentiation. Let's go ahead and do this on the next slide. The derivative of tangent theta with respect to t be secant squared theta times the factor of d theta dt due to the chain rule since this function is given in terms of theta and we're differentiating with respect to t. This would be equal to the derivative of w divided by 12 with respect to t which would be one twelfth times a factor of dw dt. Remember, we're trying to solve for dw dt, so if we switch this around and multiply both sides by 12, we would have dw dt equals 12 times secant squared theta times d theta dt. Well, we know theta is equal to 10 degrees and d theta dt is equal to pi over two radians per second, which means dw dt is equal to 12 times secant squared 10 degrees times pi over two. Well, 12 times pi over two is equal to six pi, so we have six pi times secant squared 10 degrees. This is not a nice reference angle, so we'll have to use a calculator in order to approximate this value. But there's no secant key on the calculator, so we need to remember that secant theta is equal to the reciprocal of cosine theta, so we can also write this as six pi times one divided by cosine 10 degrees squared. And now we'll go to the calculator, get our decimal approximation for this value. We need to make sure that we are in degree mode so we'll highlight degree and press enter. Go back to the home screen. Six pi times one divided by cosine 10 degrees squared. So dw dt is approximately 19.4356 and the units would be feet per second.
So again, under these conditions, when d theta dt is equal to pi over two radians per second, and the angle theta is exactly ten degrees, then the light is moving along the wall at approximately nineteen point four three five six feet per second. Now, of course, if we were to change theta or d theta dt, it would change the rate at which the light is moving along the wall. I hope you found this explanation helpful.